All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Bright. I hope you're watching the Epic Amazing Awesome episode of the Unboxing Authority. Here today on this episode, we have the Arelier Foot Spa Massage with Automatic Rollers, model MM17C-3. Now, the thing is, I didn't order this. It just showed up. It had an Amazon box, Amazon label, it was addressed to me. So we're gonna try this out today. We're gonna review this. I've got absolutely no um, reason not to give an honest review of this product because I have not been in communication with the seller as far as I know. Um, Tied up. Here we go. Take a look at that. It is heavy. It's got some weight to it. So it's definitely um, got some good quality parts in it because it's got some heft. So it's not just a cheap piece of junk. Alright, so we got a label on the back that tells us some things. This label on the back, I'm thinking, probably if I got it really wet, this I don't know if the label would come off or not. I guess I'll just have to find out. Uh, now, this is interesting. So, it appears, from looking at this, that this little thing in the middle this is a scrubber for the bottom of your foot. It's like sandpaper. It's like a rock or something. And it feels like it's for like removing calluses or something like that. Um, I mean, I'm as a man, I'm not interested yet in removing calluses. I think they're good for work and stuff, but... There's the hose, the, the feet rollers. They're definitely automatic because I don't think you can turn them without uh, the machine on. And then we've got a bunch of buttons up here. So we've got an on off, a red light bubble. So it turns on the red light in the bottom and starts bubbling. And we've got temperature, timer, and massage. So the massage button's going to turn on the rollers. Uh, I'm just assuming, of course. Uh, but since. It has, okay, so it has a drain here, apparently, and it's going to bubble through the bottom. I don't know how it bubbles up through the bottom, but it's got red light bubble. So the red light turns on, and it, it bubbles up somehow. It has a minimum and maximum fill level on the side, so that if, you know, you want to know how full the fill, you don't have to measure, you don't have to figure it out, because it's all right there. Um, I don't think this is supposed to come up or come off, although I could be, oh, it's got a handle. Look at that. It's like a little baby thing that you put babies in and carry them around in a basket. Okay, it says please keep the control panel clean and away from water. So the control panel is not water uh, proof. I don't know if it's water resistant, but it's not waterproof. And this guy. I don't know where this goes. We're going to find out. Alright, so I filled this up to its maximum capacity with some water from the... Uh, from the, the hot uh, water faucet, and I put a little cold water in here too because I don't want it to be too hot that it burns. And Grandma loves putting her hands in the hot water when she's washing dishes, so I'm sure it'll probably be fine. I've got about a quarter cup of Epsom salt here from Walgreens that I got. We're going to put that in here, and that'll help with toenail fungus or anything else that we might worry about. And uh, these foot massagers should probably help stir that in. And you just take your foot. No, be careful. If it's well, too of course. Hot. Well, you can tell me if it's too hot because I don't know. Here, let's get your foot under there. Now, you just start sticking in and tell me if it's too hot. Is it too hot? Is it too hot? Yes, it's too hot. Okay, we'll right let it cool down. Of my foot. Okay, we'll let it cool down a little first, then we'll turn off the massager. All right, so I'm gonna put some, are we still recording? Yeah, I'm gonna put some ice in here. Feels warm. Yeah, so she says it feels warm at about 105 degrees, so I just set it to 105 degrees after I put the ice in there. We'll put the other foot in, and then we're gonna try all the different functions and see what yeah. we think. What? Well. It's cold? No, it's just hitting on here. Yeah, that's why I'm going to scoot it in. It's okay. Alright, now your feet are on there? Yeah. Okay, now be careful. It's going to start massaging the bottom of your feet, okay? Don't freak out. Does that feel good? 
It's all right. It's. Oh what? What's it feel like? It just feels like something's running all over my foot. Yeah. On the bottom. Right. I'll hit it again. Let's see if it changes. Oh, it'll stop and start now. Or something. I don't know. It's hitting right in the bottom of my. Right. That's what it's supposed to do. In the middle. Now let's try the bubbles and the other thing. Let's see what that does. Well, how's that feel? Well, it feels pretty warm. Now, the other thing you can do, if you know where that callus is on the front of your foot, yeah. do you, you know where it is? Yeah. You can stick it right on that red thing right in the middle, not the one that's lit up with that stone. Get it on, the, try sticking it on there. Well, I can't, it's on the bottom of my foot. Right, and so you take the bottom of your foot and you set it on that red stone. Let's try getting this on that red, that oh. there, right there, on that red stone. Now, just I'm just gonna try this for a second. You let me know what you think. Ooh, flying all over. But see, that's supposed to grind off your callus if you want to. Oh. What do you think? I don't know. I'll put it back on the massager, but I just thought I'd show you that. There you go. So we're above the maximum level now that I put the ice in there. So we'll just let that run. It's supposed to run for about an hour. Oh my god. Well, it can be less if you want. I mean, it says in the instructions, if you're uncomfortable, stop it, you know. This, this foot here, uh -huh. that one, it kind of hurts a little bit, right in the middle. Well, then move it. Move your foot. There. That's it hitting under my toes on. Yeah. Not quite. So it feels warm? Yeah. It feels good? Yeah. It's just very lightly warm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, maybe if I turn it up higher, get the thermostat will start kicking in. We'll see. Sometimes a thermostat needs you to set it above a certain level before it's going to turn on. So yeah, if your feet are uncomfortable, you can just move them around on the massagers or you can turn the massagers off completely. The other thing is, is that because of the way these massagers are designed, you can actually just run your feet back and forth across them. You don't even have to turn it on and have it spinning. Oh. Alright, so what do we think of this thing overall? Well, first of all, I just want to let you guys know it seems that the red light in the bottom, when it's just the red light on, no bubbles, that's the heat. So I think that has to be on for it to be heating. And uh, she seems to like it about 106 degrees, 105. Any warmer than that is where it starts feeling like too warm. So right now it's at 107, I turned it down. Uh, the rollers, you know, I think they do a great job and I think people are gonna love it, but uh, with her, you know, it's just a little bit uncomfortable if she doesn't move her feet around on them because she's 90 years old, you know, and her feet are sensitive. And uh, I, I think it's great. I think this is a great way, you know, to massage your feet, keep them warm, and also to use some Epsom salt, you know, if you want to get under your nails and get rid of any kind of fungus and stuff like that. Of course, you do need them cleaned out, you know, either by a relative, a doctor, whatever. Uh, someone needs to clean out your nails and cut them back. But uh, this, doing this, you know, on a regular basis, at least once a week, should help prevent, um, you know, toe fungus from from coming back or anything. And uh, I, I love how it has it has the digital ther thermostat. Okay, it's got the massager. It's got a timer so that you don't do it too long and wear your feet off or something. And you've got the the massaging function. And the massaging function seems to have four modes: off and then constant on like we have it right now and then there's on off on off on off and then it has a different pattern where it's on and off a little bit differently and then um, it's also got the bubbles and I think what the bubbles are good for is just circulating the water um, like with that Epsom salt and stuff it's just helping to move the water around and you know if you want to set your feet on 
your toes on it you can on the massagers uh, if you've got calluses on the bottom of your feet um, that callus remover is right in the middle of the whole thing so as long as you can position your foot on that callus remover that's going to help you again I'm a guy so I'm not really interested in you know callus remover but um, women are so um, I think all in all it's a great product it has that nice carry handle down here that I used after I filled it to carry it out here it, it didn't break off or anything it's uh, it's pretty sturdy and it, I love how it has the fill lines as well because that's very useful I don't have to measure anything except the Epsom salt and the Epsom salt says on it the Walgreens Epsom salt says that if you're gonna use it in a tub you're supposed to use two cups and this clearly is not a full-size bath tub so I decided to use like a quarter of a cup and uh, it looks like it's dissolved into the water I don't see any salt floating around in there you know and it's good to clean your feet too It'd get dead skin off there um, if there's anything on your feet that you don't see the rollers will help clean off the bottom of your feet so I think it's a great little product and I think we're gonna use it at least once a week here to keep toes from you know fresh and healthy and everything and uh, what do you have to say about it it feels really good on the skin kind of tough on there the massager's a little bit tough yeah it, it's yeah it is <laughs> okay well we'll go ahead and turn the massager off where's that at but uh, anyways thanks so much for watching the video please like comment share and subscribe and just bless you please click the links in the description of the video consider your trip patreon make sure you check out christiancourts.com and of course there's the blazing hog 4g LTE how to build a moped.com. If you look down in the description, you're going to see something that says how to win in court. Okay. And if you're wanting to, you know, try to do court stuff in the secular courts, you know, the state courts, the federal courts, the places like that, even city courts, uh, you're going to want to know the basics of, of the lawsuit way because that's how they do things. You know, whether or not you agree with that, you know, you think they think they should be following the Constitution, all this other stuff, that's fine, but you need to know their methods for doing things because if that's the way they demand you do it and you don't know what you're doing it's going to be confusing okay so and if they're doing it it's going to be confusing so it's good to at least know you know and Bill Thornton recommended it he's you know he doesn't make any commission off of it because he doesn't use a commission link I use a commission link on everything because I gotta eat but uh, basically it's $250 and you're supposed to be able to learn it in 24 hours and I think with the $250 you get six months of access to it and you just take notes you write everything down uh, you know I don't know if you should copy and paste it's all copywritten you know but uh, it's definitely a good course to go through if and even if you don't practice law you never intend on getting in court it's a good thing to go through um, I'll tell you what when you have when you're in a sticky situation, okay, and you're in the secular court system and you want to find your way out, you're trying to figure out what to do, this course is going to give you a crash course, you know, in 24 hours, which is about a week's time, if you've got time to set aside to do it, if you're motivated, you know, and uh, then afterwards, you could go through the free videos on my website, the common law videos, you know, and add to your knowledge so that you really comprehend what's going on in court when they use tricky words and they try to trick you um, the, the common law videos should help with that so uh, I have a whole common law YouTube channel it's like called, I think it's called Freeman common law now or something I should have a link to it on my my uh, YouTube channel but you can just go to mindblowing.com and find all that stuff and uh, so anyways great product I like it I'm glad that they sent it to us um, and we have this now because you know this is much easier to do every week or every you know however many times a week than it is to have to trim back your nails you know and clean under them every every week that's just it's painful it's a hassle this uh, you know is just gently moving the salt around doing everything that's supposed to do uh, getting rid of you know fungus bacteria whatever and with the Epsom salt and so this is a great deal also the salt from Walgreens um, it was only like three three dollars and a penny so you know that's not and that was their smallest bag of it uh, but it's still you know that should last us 
at least uh, two or three months I would think you know um, so and I don't know how much this thing costs but this definitely seems like a quality product it's it's heavy the parts in it are heavy it's got heft to it um, and it heats you know I've had other water massagers like this one and they were the analog kind and they just had some buttons and a knob and things and they never seemed to get warm the water never seemed to get warm but this actually is warming the water up and we know because of the thermostat and because it's telling us how hot the water is and she's telling me how hot the water is and where it's comfortable when it's not comfortable so this one is actually able to keep up and, and keep the water hot uh, where she likes it so I think it's it's definitely a winning product and I think you should get one in the description get one for your wife get one for your grandma you know whatever and get them some Epsom salt or if they want bath salt or whatever you know I really think that if this if this lasts for even a year it's it's worth having um, you know but I would expect it to last longer than that I would because the other ones you know we've had have last longer but they didn't work as good they didn't keep the water warm they didn't have the massagers in the bottom. They didn't have an automatic thermostat. They weren't digital. They didn't have the air bubbles come, you know, button for the. They didn't have all these features, I don't think, or the pumice stone. That's a whole new thing. I didn't even know, you know, you had a rotating pumice stone in these things. So, very great deal. All right, well, God bless you, and thanks for watching the video. Bye. Do you want to learn to follow the commands of the Almighty One True God? If you do, go to ChristianCourts.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audiobook, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you. This video is brought to you today by Blazing Hog 4G LTE. Get blazing fast internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second. You get $49.99 off when you use the code and the phone number in the description of this video or the code right below my finger here, that coupon code. It works anywhere, rain or shine, within five miles of an AT&T or T-Mobile cell tower. Check it out. All you have to do is call 1-888-306-7062 and mention account number SR2808 when you call. These speed tests keep changing because some people are using this cell and they're not. Look, we're now at 50, 60. There we go again. So I was talking about 63. We actually got up to 63 that time. Okay, we're going to upload again. 18.32 upload. Now enjoy the rest of this video. That's an order, son. Don't throw your computer into the recycle bin. Make your computer great again. Go to www.justuselinux.com. Well, thanks for watching the video. Subscriber Chicks are here to tell you to make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell. And that 4K videos are good for you. They're good for your health. The Unboxing Authority videos, you need to subscribe and watch them. And make sure you check out ChristianCourts.com, how to build a moped.com, how to win in court, which is all down in the description. And uh, make sure you check out the Blazing Hog 4G LTE internet. You get $49.99 off. You want to get the best internet for your livestock and your poultry, you know. So make sure you get the best for them. So Blazing Hog 4G LTE internet, that's what you need. All right. God bless you. Bye.